Hello everyone, today I have some news to share and it's not exactly what we were hoping for. Microsoft has decided to retire Visual Studio for Mac and I must admit it, it's not a huge surprise. You see, Visual Studio for Mac was never on the same level as its Windows Twin. So here's the deal. Visual Studio for Mac 17.6 will continue to be around but only for one year until August 31st, 2024. They will provide updates to fix security issues and keep it compatible with the latest Apple platforms during this time. After that, it's going into retirement. Now, let me share a little personal tidbit here. I have been using Parallels, one of the great virtual machines for Mac, for nearly a year now. It's been a lifesaver. With just a click, I could install Windows 11 and run Visual Studio without any hassle. But you know what I don't like? Visual Studio IDE in the cloud. It's a good concept, but it has a significant drawback. You need an internet connection to access it. Imagine you are on a plane and want to fix a few bugs while you are traveling. Here is what I hope for. Microsoft should put more focus on Windows 11 and Visual Studio for ARM. Why? Because it will enhance the experience of using Parallels VM on Mac. Having a robust Windows 11 and ARM compatible Visual Studio will make running Parallels even better. Now I understand the disappointment, but we are not left with no options. Instead of Visual Studio for Mac, here is what you can do. First off, there is a Visual Studio code, which is great alternative. Microsoft has introduced the new c -sharp dev kit and some add-ons to make it more powerful for .NET and c -sharp developers. They are still testing this out, but the good news is they are designed to work on all sorts of computers, including Macs. Plus, they promise to keep improving it. As I mentioned earlier, Parallels is a fantastic option. With just one click, you can install Windows 11 and run Visual Studio on Mac seamlessly. It's a game changer for those who want the best of both worlds. So there you have it. The retirement of Visual Studio for Mac might be disappointing, but remember, there are alternatives. Microsoft has some plans with Windows 11 and Visual Studio for ARM, and that's something to look forward to. Let's stay positive and keep coding. Make the most of the tools you have. Change can be challenging, but it's an opportunity for growth. Thanks for being part of the developer community and let's keep moving forward. Even if it means adapting to new tools and technologies, stay hopeful and happy coding. If you liked this video, please hit the like button. If you disliked it, please hit the dislike button so we do better. Hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss our next video updates. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.